Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and in this video I will be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse race in action as usual here on the channel. Before we get stuck into that, just a couple of things I want to mention first. First of all, I'm not going to the races at Bath tomorrow like I said I might do uh, at the beginning of the week. That's because tomorrow they're not really running any runners really at Bath. It's very disappointing. They were reopening entries um, a few days ago to try and attract new runners but they haven't really got many i think the most they've got in the field tomorrow is about seven runners and some of those races have, races have only got two or three runners in and it's not worth going uh, up to bar for me uh, down in hampshire all the way for that so we're going to probably give it a miss this week on the race course visits however i will be at glorious goodwood next week i'm going twice i will be with bbc radio 5 live on the Thursday, and then I will be uh, back at BBC Sussex and Surrey, where I was last year with them on Ladies' Day at Goodwood. So, really looking forward to that. I won't probably give any tips on the day specifically because I will be doing previews all week next week for Glorious Goodwood, and uh, hopefully, we can have a really good week next week. Also, as well, just to mention, I'll do a King George preview, which will probably come out on Thursday once we know the final declaration. So, stay tuned for that. That will be up probably around about. Out then and yeah and I want to apologize for not making a vlog for today I was a little bit busy last night and I didn't really have any time to study any form however I did do a tip over on the Panthers page and it won at eight to one at Newcastle so sorry if you didn't see that one anyway enough of me waffling on we'll get straight into the action for tomorrow's horse race in action and we start at Catterick in the 310 with a horse called Fast Endeavour round about uh, 15 to 2 best odds I've seen out there with bookmakers at the moment trained by Michael Bell and Hayley Turner's book for the ride. She often gets a lot of rides for Michael Bell. His yard have been in fantastic form in recent weeks. They've had a 41% strike rate in the last two weeks, so they're really firing in the winners, and they've got some nice horses in their yard at the moment. Now, this horse has been a bit, little bit of a slow burner, but has been running fairly well. It's been steadily, steadily improving along, and it makes its uh, handicap uh, debut tomorrow off a mark of 61, and I thought it was quite well handicapped off that mark. It's been running in some decent races, and they're going to be up in it to seven furlongs tomorrow, which I definitely think will suit. It's got more uh, stamina in the pedigree over the sprints, more like the um, stamina sprint races, so the seven furlongs, and I thought that would definitely suit it tomorrow, going up in trip. Also as well, Michael Bell's got a really good um, strike rate at uh, this track. It's going to be carrying a nice slow weight as well, this horse. And I really fancied it to uh, go well tomorrow, making... Um, a good start to its uh, handicap in uh, debut. So for me, I thought off a marker 61, that could definitely be at least a good each way bet if you wanted that one, or you could just stick it in a multi bet entirely up to you. We then go to the 420 at Lingfield with a horse called Nay Slayer. Three to one best odds with bookmakers at the moment. Trained by Sylvester Kirk, who has really been cold in uh, the winner's department in uh, recent weeks. But Oshin Murphy has uh, taken the ride tomorrow. He's been riding really well, especially in recent weeks. I believe he had a five-timer up not long ago, so he's been riding really well. But this horse, I thought, tomorrow could maybe get his head in front finally because it's been running really well and again they're stepping it and stepping it up in trip tomorrow from uh, six furlongs to seven furlongs and that should definitely suit it's been running really well it's normally held up and running on really strongly at the end now this horse finished second last time in a nursery at ascot and it was up against some horses rated um that are now rated 90 one of George Peckham and James Watt another horse of Michael's Bells that I really do rate that was a really good race that day at Ascot and he's off a mark of 71 and if he runs anywhere near that level or well, well, probably better because he's probably better than a 71 rated horse you gotta think he's gonna go close Oshin Murphy knows how to do the job especially at the moment and I thought Nay Slayer by being um, of the sire no Nay never who's really having a good season as his first season as a stallion I thought this horse had every chance and was probably the value at the top end of the market and I thought 3 to 1 was an attractive price there we then go to Leicester for the 705 with a horse called Albissa it's 7 to 1 best odds I've seen out there trained by Rafe Beckett whose stable have been amongst the winners Harry Bentley as well been riding pretty well this horse I think you can forgive it last time out when it ran a poor race at Ascot they're going to try uh, the blinkers tomorrow and I definitely think this will help the horse it's been running quite free in its races and a bit keen and hopefully those blinkers 
will have a lot more controlled effect in its races. So for me, I thought it had a really good chance. It finished uh, second at Leicester a couple of starts ago behind a decent horse called Panko, who's been a fair game horse in his career so far. So no bad effort there. Even though there might be one or two better classy arrivals on paper, I thought this horse could definitely bounce back and could be a bit of a dark horse in this race tomorrow. So for me, Albissa in the 7.05 at Leicester will be the third selection. We then go to the 8.05 at Sandown with a horse called Employer. 92 bookmakers at the moment, trained by Hugo Palmer, who's been amongst the winners again. James Doyle is one of the men at the, of the moment when it comes to the jockeys. At the moment, obviously, he has a fantastic weekend winning the Irish Oaks over in Ireland, and he had a fantastic meeting on both days at the Curra. So he's been riding really well. This horse um, has been running not too badly as well. He's been making the frame quite a few times. It won... Uh, Oh, I didn't win, I should say, but ran uh, quite nicely last time out at uh, Yama, finishing in third place. And this horse has been a steady and improver again. They're going to be trying the blinkers on this horse tomorrow. Again, it's been running free. It's by Camelot as well, who's uh, a project day. Often can take a little bit of time to get going, but I thought this was a, quite a workable race for this horse tomorrow. And for me, Employer, the aptly named workable race, is going to be my selection. He's 92 but makers at the moment, and I could definitely see him running a good race. So the, for me, they're the selections for tomorrow's horse racing. So if you want to leave any comments in the comments box below, please do so. Also as well, please subscribe to the channel here at Lucky Loads 15 if you haven't done so already. You can also follow me on Twitter, which is at Lucky Loads 15, probably the place to check me out. Also check out my work with the Panthers page. That's all I've got to say. Please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have someone us tomorrow and we'll be seeing you soon.